In this tutorial, I will review how to use tables in Umbraco. So to begin, I click my cursor where I want my content to appear. So it's in this body text area. And I go to my table icon, which is the one that looks like a grid with a pencil. Let's insert edit table. And then from here, I have some options on what size to make my table. So how many columns I want, how many table rows, padding, and cell spacing. So for example, I'm just going to put four rows, set some padding. I don't want any cell spacing, but I'd like a border, so I'll make that one. And my width, I'm going to make it 500 pixels wide, and you can make this whatever you want. You can also do percentages. You would just put a percent symbol there if you wanted to do this in percentages, and just click insert. So now from here, I can begin filling out my table cell entries. And to advance to the next cell, I just use my arrow keys on my keyboard. If you were to click tab, it would go to this next box down here because we are in our web browser. You can also click in the table cell that you want to go to, but the arrow keys work too. So I'm just going to put in some fake information here. just to advance, fill out this, this table. Okay, so let's say in this case um, I needed to add another row here because I didn't um, include enough for my table. So from here I just, I, my cursor's in this last row. I can right click and I'm given some extra options. I can insert or edit a table, have some table properties, I can delete table, and then I can do some changes with my um, table cell, rows, and columns. So I'll go to this row and I want to insert a row after. So it's given me another row here. Doing that again, let's just say I wanted to delete that row, so I just select that, and then it's gone. I want to be sure to save, and publish, and then I can go over to my page and check it out, and that's exactly what I wanted. You can do some text formatting in this. You can make things bold, or you can select some headings from our style menu to dress that up a bit. And there we go. So that concludes our tutorials on how to use tables in Umbraco.